Hi Scorpio, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm about to do your reading for November 6th through November 12th. This is intended to be a weekly love reading for the sign of Scorpio. We will see what comes up. This may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, then so be it. It may or it may not. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment, and I will zoom this in when I get done. I want to remind you that this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. If this is under anybody else's channel, they did not record it. They did not download it. The channel should say Soul Source Tarot. Alright, so the basis of your reading is the Eight of Wands. It looks like something is happening, and it's probably happening pretty quickly. Oh, I just want to put this put this together real quick. Uh, yes, there's some fast-moving energy. Something's crumbling down. We do have the tower here, and I think you guys had this last week, too. So if it hasn't happened yet, you know, it's going to happen this week or in the near future. But for many of you, this this something came crashing down already now i have to remind you that time is fluid so this could have happened it may be happening or or it could be coming up in the future all right i see that something because is crashing down to bring you in something much better many of you could be contemplating moving all right i just have to tell you that it's pretty clear that some of you could be moving there is definitely some fast moving energy here. I think there's some kind of action that's being taken. I don't know if that's by you or by somebody else, but many of you are working on um, going for charging ahead. It looks like many of you are like moving forward and you're moving forward pretty quickly. I do see a transformation here. So you guys could be tra transforming your thoughts or you guys could be transforming. There could be a transformation regarding your finances where, you know, things start to even out. Now, this is intended to be a love reading. So I do see that for many of you, there's a commitment could be with a Leo, Aries or Sagittarius. Okay, so you could be, you know, getting engaged or something like that. I do see a lot of happiness in a relationship that leads to a commitment. If you're single, you could be meeting a person this week. Could happen very quickly out of the blue. Or you could, um, all of a sudden, it feels like structure and organization come back to your life. Where it may have been chaotic, I think that... Now there's more peace and harmony and your life is starting to um, get back on track, all right? It just looks like things are a lot more peaceful for you. And, and definitely in regards to finances as well, I think many of you are feeling more like you are on an even keel financially. Some of it is, for some of you it may be relationship wise, okay? I think difficulties, the, any difficulties that you've had at either at work or in your relationship or coming to an end, okay? Or even if they were in your mind, I just feel like you're moving away from negativity. I, there's definitely some new beginnings here, big time. And it's, and it's happening because you have mastered your emotions. You have taken control. You have charged forward. You are making the move. You are doing something about it. And I think you are because you want a foundation to be stable, okay? You're looking for a stable foundation, so you're, you're taking action, okay? You're taking the lead in many, many ways. I mean, I see that you are taking the lead, Scorpio. And I think it does have to do with love, okay? I think you're t trying to be very practical about this while still being, you know, like romantic. 
I do feel like you're releasing any drama that was in your life. Many of you could be um, just letting it go, period, any drama. I feel like you're replacing fear with faith. You really are. There's a lot of faith here. I feel like um, you're on a roll. You're making progress, all right? Acknowledge it. You are seriously making progress spiritually, financially, and romantically. You are making progress, Scorpio. So this looks fantastic, okay? It really does. I'm going to start shuffling for the next pull. I just feel like any um, period of stagnation is over. You know, this is a week of action, okay? And harmony and peace and contentment and love and... Um, security and stability and it looks like it's just really good it's a good week Scorpio I, and it's because you did something you moved you took action okay in some way transformation is here in a very big way with the chariot card and the death card many have, of you are have been through a, like a major some major life change okay and look at that. That just fell out. The Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> it just reiterated what I said. This happens all the time. There was a major life change. That's what this is. It's a change of course. Congratulations. You've done it. The wheel is spinning in your favor. You're get coming so close to your desires. Okay? It's a, it's a time of good luck for you this week okay and it's something that it's not like it happened on its own you have been like making it happen you've been taking your time you've been patient you've been um, nurturing okay you've been listening you've been um, generous with your affection okay um, it just fear, feels like you really put time into this. And I think it's either your work or a relationship. And because you have the wheel spinning in your favor and you're about to start a new chapter of your life, it's absolutely clear if you haven't already, okay, the balance is coming back. Wow. The wheel next to the world. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is this is unbelievable. First of all, these are the most the majority of this pull right here are major arcanas, okay? So you definitely have a divine connection. Big time. Big time. So use that to your advantage. I think many of you probably already know that already, but I truly believe that somebody from the other side or your higher God or your higher power or whatever, you are manifesting with them. And you guys are working together. I think many of you are wide awake. I feel like you are, you totally have a divine connection in which you're not alone, okay? Your intuition is right on, okay? And I'm not sure who this is for, but there's a lot of divine um, help here, okay? Definitely. I see happiness. I see new beginnings. I see... Some of you could be talking about traveling. You could be thinking about starting a, a big new phase of your life. Something big. I mean, it even could be so much as a new commitment, okay? Which is would be long-term, by the way, because this is something long-term where it's one long-term phase of your life. Could have been struggle. is over. And now you're moving to a period of more stability and peace and harmony, okay? And good fortune maybe your um because we have this death card with the chair i mean there's so much here there's big completions i see a major life transformation for many of you definitely and i think it is um it's happened because of your ability to look at things from a new perspective your ability to master your emotions because of your divine connection because of your 
um, ability to be patient. I feel like many of you have had faith in something that may have been a struggle. You struggled through it. You, you Now you're at a different place. I think many of you are at a different place. And because you really, really took an action, I mean, I see that you've really taken action. You're being rewarded. This is a week of reward. And if it isn't this week, it's coming up real soon. Real, real soon. You've, you've just overcame loss. You've overcame negativity. Okay? Wow. Wow. Um, I see that, that there's a lot of balance coming back to your life. It's just amazing. It really is. This is a good week, November 6th through November 12th. Um, I'm going to get you an Archangel Michael card. Something has ended and something more beautiful, more wonderful is beginning. Okay, that's what I see. Something has ended and something better is beginning. Innocence. That fell out, so we got to go with it. This is for Scorpio. Maybe it's just a phase of your life that's going to be much better after a period of struggle. That's what I think. I think many of you have been struggling through something, and that period, that phase of your life is over. And now it's you're being rewarded for all the hard work that you have put in over a long period of time. Your reward is here. It's time for you to reap some benefits, in a sense. Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see that all of your qualities of pure love and light are reflected within me and all others. Help me embrace my God-given innocence so that I may be at peace. <laughs> that is so beautiful. Anyway, Scorpio, I think this is absolutely for you. I think this is your rewards are starting to come in. Okay? Absolutely. You've been through a major struggle and it was long term and I think it's over now. And it's time for a brand new start, a brand new long term phase of your life and I think it's going to be very happy. That's what it looks like for me. For you. I'm not I don't have any Scorpio in my chart. That's what I see. Talk to you later, Scorpio.